welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Beth Ann. Today I'm doing something that I thought I would never do when I started my booktube channel. I literally thought I would never do an unboxing. Um, I thought I would do hauls when I come home from the bookstore, but I never thought I would actually sign up for a book subscription and unbox it. Um, I've always been curious about the book subscriptions. I follow people who have the book of the month, for example, and I've heard about a couple other subscription boxes. Um, but none of them sounded exciting enough for me. Oh, I guess like Owl Crate and Fairy Loot are two of the other big ones, if I'm getting those names right. Um, and there's a couple reasons for that. So for one thing, a lot of the books that are in those boxes are things that I hear about anyway. Um, they're things that get pretty popular, at least on BookTube. They're all, they also tend to be things that are sort of pushed by Barnes & Noble if I walk into the store there. So I didn't really feel like I was sort of getting access to books um, or hearing about books um, that I wouldn't otherwise hear about. Um, and then a lot of those boxes also come with stuff that I just don't need. I'm thinking about like Owl Crate and Fairy Loot. I don't really want to fill my apartment up with a bunch of like bookish things. Um, so I sort of always assumed I would never sign up for a subscription box, but I heard about this one, the Queer Book Box. Um, here's my box um, on a new to me channel called What Effie Reads. So I will link to her video, um, her most recent video or her channel down below. And um, she had an affiliate link for the Queer Book Box in her description box. And so I checked it out and I was like, this is the book subscription box that I didn't know I was missing. <laughs> so it's, um, it's a queer owned subscription service. So you're supporting a queer owned business. Um, and then they source their books from an independent bookshop in the UK called Gaze the Word, um, which on their website says it's the UK's first and oldest lesbian and gay bookshop serving the community since 1979. So from the top to the bottom, it's queer owned businesses. Um, and then there's a focus on queer books. So it's queer books that you get in the queer book box. So I'm really excited because I feel like this actually will help me diversify my reading in a way that's already important to me to diversify my reading um, and hopefully introduce me to some books that I'm not hearing about through my regular channels of hearing about books. So this is what I want in a subscription box. Um, then they have a few different levels you can sign up for. So I've actually subscribed to just their most basic version um, of the book box and I've signed up to only get it every other month because I don't need to accumulate a lot of books quickly. Um, but of course I got suckered in when I signed up. They were like, well, you know, you can sign up for the plan you want, but then you could also get the uh, bigger box from December more cheaply. So I was like, well, okay, why not? I'll just celebrate signing up for a book subscription service. So I think this box According to the label on it, I haven't looked at what's inside yet. All I did was just um, slice the edge so I can open it easily. Um, but according to the label, I think this is the big December box that I got cheaply for signing up for the regular box every other month. So um, if you're interested in signing up for the regular box, I think this is going to be a bit extra. Um, but yeah, so first of all, the packaging covered in rainbows. I love it. They do have a... Um, discrete packaging option I saw on the website. So that's available if anybody needs that, but I like a little bit of rainbows in my mailbox. So now we're going to dive right in. So right on top is the book, which is great because that's, that's what I want. I want the book. Um, so this is a simple scale by David Llewellyn and it is a book I've never heard about. Um, and that's exciting. And let's see, what does it say on the back? A piece of music begins a story ranging across Soviet Russia, McCarthyite Hollywood, and post 9-11 New York as the mystery of the lives of two composers is uncovered. Which wrote the music? How did their lives cross? Why did they act as they did? And what are the consequences for those around them? In the aftermath of 9-11, a man arrives in New York claiming that the theme tune of a popular TV series by composer Sol Conrad is the work his grandfather, Sergei Grekov, an eminent Russian composer sent to the Gulag by Stalin. Conrad's young PA, Natalie, is determined to defend her elderly employer, but as she digs deeper, she discovers worlds of which she barely knew. Russian labor camps, McCarthyism, intolerant governments and societies, and the secret lives led by homosexuals in the USA and USSR during the 20th century. Natalie, Sol, and Sergei each tell their stories, ranging across continents and decades. A simple scale moves forward through their narratives of love, death, deceit, the CIA, the NKVD, atomic bombs, classical music, and Hollywood. In a dramatic conclusion, the past catches up with them as the manipulations and betrayals at the center of Sol and Sergei's lives inform a few days of 2001 when history is about to repeat itself. 
that sounds great. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. What a great synopsis. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be awesome to read. Um, and then, yeah, since it's a sub subscription book box, we've got a few other things in here. Um, and again, this is the all out version instead of the original one. So most times I will not be getting this much extra stuff. Um, I'm happy to do it once, but again, I don't want a ton of like bookmarks and things accumulating. So um, anyway, here is a bookmark, which is uh, music themed to go with the book. And then there's a quote on the back. The music vibrated through the edge work and into her thighs and through her fingertips as they pressed each string against the neck. That sound like a feather or a dust mote suspended in the air. The purest expression of all the things she would never say. That's nice. I assume that's in the book. Cool. Um, let's see. Oh, and then I've got a guide to what's in here. Um, so let's see. They've got an about the author section. They've got a why this book was chosen page. Um, they have some reviews. And let's see. They've got, oh, if you liked this, consider these other books. So that's good. Oh, they also have a little bit, um, oh, it looks like some historical snippets that you can follow up on that look like they're all related to the book. So you can follow those with QR codes. That's really interesting and helpful, actually. Um, so yeah, and then they, they tell you what you get with the more expensive boxes, because of course they want to make you pay more money. That's fair, whatever. Um, so yeah, so that's cool. Then let's see, I've got a postcard. Um, oh, and this is really beautiful. This probably isn't going to show up well at all, but it's sort of a fantastical scene, and we have some lovers in the foreground kissing. We've got a very cool walrus in the background. Um, okay. I get chocolate. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to be, I know chocolate is not in the box that I signed up for, but that's exciting. Um, I've got some cute little stickers. Um, oh my gosh, and there's a recipe. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. And some sort of Christmas-themed soft thing. So yeah, so I've got a recipe for an apple crumble ice cream. And there, there was some of the description in that little booklet I showed was um, explaining the background of the person who the apple crumble ice cream was named after. And of course, I haven't taken a chance to read it since I'm on video, Ruby Tando. So I'm not sure who she is, but I will read the booklet when I'm done with this and find out. Um, what is this? I don't know. It says, make the Yuletide gay, very on theme. But yeah, it's just like a little pocket thing. Let me go back and see what this thing is. Stickers, chocolate. Bum, ba, dum, ba. Oh, this is a hot water bottle cover. <laughs> See, I don't use hot water bottles, so it never would have occurred to me that that's what would fit in here. But actually, I do know people who use hot water bottles, and one of them is queer. So I think I will maybe send this on to my friend. So anyway, that's what was in my queer book box for this month. Again, just to reiterate, this is extra beyond what I signed up for normally. I just decided to get the extra holiday package um, as a little gift to myself since I was signing up. But um, every other month I will be getting my regular book box, um, which I think will just have a book and a bookmark, but I'm not entirely sure. So anyway, that's the queer book box. I'm really excited about this one. Um, and I will also link to them down below. So if you also want to sign up, please um, go ahead and do that also and join me reading Queer Lit. Yay. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.